hey what is up guys welcome back to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to be showing you how you can play v games on your pc so let's get into the video right after the intro so the things you will need are a pc with bluetooth support if you don't have built-in bluetooth you can buy a usb dongle it's just like 400 rupees or something and of course you will need a v remote all right first up click the link in the description the dolphin link and you will come to this page you need to download the latest version and choose if you have windows or mac os or mac os which has a intel processor so i have a windows x64 pc i'm going to select windows and it will start the download all right once that is downloaded you need to open the zip file and extract the dolphin x64 folder and you can close winrar open the folder and open dolphin so first up you need to configure your graphics so that the game doesn't lag when you start the game all right here you need to choose which backend or something you want if you want to open gl direct 3d direct 3d 12 vulcan software renderer and null means just nothing so i have a nvidia graphics card so i'm going to choose direct 3d 11 and choose the nvidia geforce gtx 1650 ti and if you have only the intel hd graphics you can of course choose the intel uhd graphics i have a better one so i'm going to choose nvidia and if, if you want you can turn the vsync on or off if you want you can choose to start the game in full screen show fps it's all up to you here and go to the enhancements and i recommend you to start from the native 640 by 528 resolution and turn all these off and if you see if the game is running smoothly you can slowly increase the resolution or the anti-aliasing it's up to you and here are some other hacks or something i don't know you can mess around here all right once you have done everything you need to click close and then now you need to turn on bluetooth in your computer and now click on controllers and make sure to check the box which says continuous scanning and now you need to take your v remote or remove the battery cover and then you need to press this red button press it once and flip your remote and just keep pressing random buttons so that the remote doesn't turn off once the remote vibrates you need to let go of the buttons there we go now you can put back the battery cover and here you can also click close and now it's time to load up a game here i have a v sports iso i'll leave a link where you can download any of your games iso so yeah i'm going to open that so open click open sell so browse to the image and here is v sports and now the game is going to start and just to let me reduce the sound and just to show you that this is not a pre-recorded video playing on my laptop as you can see if i press down it goes down if i press up it goes up and now if i want to choose something let me say i want to go to training and i press a and it's going to select that single player choose someone and i uh, yes obviously you can't save your records because this is not a v console where you can save your data okay okay so this is not a pre-recorded video at all as you can see i'm going to play baseball and show you that this is real Alright, as you can see, as I move the remote, the player is also moving his bat. So, this is not just a pre recorded video playing on my laptop. And if I hit, he also hits. And now, let's play some games. Aha, there we go. Alright, I have set the camera here so you can see me better. I 
think I need to keep it a bit back. Yeah, that is good, I think. Oh, this is hard to play. Alright that is it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you in the next video.